This is in Catalinum 3.6. Dixi ego idem. Ooh, really easy start here. Dixi. This is perfect. Active. 1S, first person singular. I said the same thing in the Senate. Easy. Now it gets hard. Here you've got to put in the English conjunction. That. Because we are having an indirect statement here. And so he's saying something, and now he's going to indirectly quote what he is saying. And as you know, that involves subject of the indirect statement, accusative. And the verb of the indirect statement, infinitive. Let's look for that. Well, here's an accusative. There's an accusative. And you can't tell the subject and the object apart. So I'm just going to tell you, this is your subject, and this is the direct object. You brought about the slaughter of the optimates. And the optimates, those are like uh, the aristocratic party. The aristocrats. And of course, both factions were aristocrats, but that's sort of their caste branding. And here is your verb infinitive, contulisse, to bring about or uh, bring together a plan. On five days before the calends of November, that's a Roman way of dating things, late October. Then, when, so this is a subordinate clause here, many, chiefs, state, Rome, not so much, himself, herself, itself, preserve, then, your plans, repress, for the sake of, flee. Mm, okay, look, the only verb I see in here is there big v right there okay that's perfect active and it is three s oh i'm sorry I'm just undermining my point here this is three p and the plural will help us find the subject we're looking for a nominative singular here it is multi principes if principes doesn't give it away the multi does this modifies its noun in case, nominative, number, plural, gender, masculine, but its ending comes from its own declension. Many of the leaders of the state, gender, at Rome, locative, oh, 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 oh the locative case, they fled. Okay. And they fled for the sake. And then this non tom is a crow correlative with quam. These work together. These mean not so much blah 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 as blah blah blah. So not so much peanut butter as jam. But we'll fill in that later. They fled. From Rome. Oh, that's not locative. Oh, that's place from which. Easy mistake to make because it could mean at Rome. I take it back. It could be the locative. Some debate on that. I'm debating myself. They fled from Rome or they were at Rome. Not so much. And then you go here. For the sake, and then you have genitives, 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 genitives. Not so much for the sake of saving themselves as for the sake of crushing your plans. Ooh, so we have that construction with calza, which is kind of just. A preposition with its object behind it always looks backwards. 
And the object of this preposition is going to be in the genitive. And there are all those genitives. And we also have your favorite construction. The gerundive. Nice. ND, gerundive. ND, ND, gerundive. It's an adjective. It's passive. If you forget that, I'll never forgive you. And it goes with a noun here, for the sake of saving themselves, for the sake of crushing your plans. It goes with a noun. 